Greetings, traveler. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Foriam, and in today's Valheim guide, I'm going to show you guys how to get your hands on wolf armor and also the pretty epic wolf cape, which you have probably seen on many streams. I'm going to try to make this guide as spoiler friendly as possible so you don't have to take down the third boss for it, but it is definitely recommended in order to get your hands on certain materials a lot easier. This is definitely an epic set to get your hands on. It also gives you great stats. So guys, let's go hunting. All right, so here I am just chilling near the cauldron, guys. Just cooking some food, prepare myself for the next adventure. So in order to get your hands on the wolf armor, of course, you want to find wolves. And for this, you're going to have to travel to the mountain biomes, which are scattered across the entire map. We currently have one right here to the top left. We have one right there, which is the one we're going to visit in a second. And then also a very small one right here. Of course, the more you explore, the more you travel around, you will be able to find more mountain biomes with more wolves. And guys, seriously, yesterday we found a swamp with at least 10 dungeons in there. I think this is a pretty crazy achievement, but uh, more about that in another video. So right now we're going to travel to the mountain biome, which I already made a portal for, which is a little bit hidden right here. By the way, if you don't know how to set up portals yet, definitely make sure to check out the top right of the screen because I just made a video for it. It's a pretty easy and fast guide. All right, so here we are in my forward base on the mountains, guys. I think this is a pretty awesome biome to do some adventuring. But um, seriously, you do want to be a little bit careful. If you don't have any wolf armor yet, you're going to freeze to death right here. So definitely make sure to bring some frost resistance potions. I currently have my huntsman bow equipped as well as some obsidian arrows. So the wolves are not a big threat for me. But at the same time, they will still deal a great deal of damage. So be careful, guys. So here is one. There we go. Just two hits with an iron sword. And this one also just dropped the wolf pelt. The first ingredient which you're going to need in order to craft the wolf armor. A pelt of shaggy fur. Oh boy, I just realized I hardly brought any food with me. So this is definitely going to be a little bit more tricky. But at the same time, I guess we will manage. Always eat different kinds of foods to maximize your stamina, guys. I can't stress this out. It's very important. One of the main aspects in the game, really. You know you're close when you hear wolves howling, but dragons are another thing, guys. Seriously, make sure to bring some frost resistance and plenty of arrows. The mountain tops are a very awesome place to farm for obsidian, so you will be able to craft tons and tons of those arrowheads. And guys, seriously, if you are a little bit lucky, you will even find some exposed silver, which is normally pretty difficult to get your hands on before taking down a third boss. I was so lucky to find two notes of this very mountain, which means I was able to craft all this armor. Also, sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to get on top of these walls. But uh, to make that a little bit easier, just gonna do a couple jumps and then hit with your pickaxe. So you can actually have a little platform to stand on and regain some stamina. From afar, you can easily take him down with a sneak attack, one hit kill. And this one also dropped a wolf fang, still sharp. Wow, that was pretty close, but we just got our hands on a wolf trophy, which is the part which you're gonna need in order to craft the cape. All right, so back at the forward base camp, I also have some silver stored inside these chests, but uh, of course you won't be able to bring this through a portal. You're gonna have to bring it to the smelters yourself. All right, so guys, here we are at the forge. The wolf armor legs will cost you 20 silver, five wolf pelt, and also four wolf fangs. The wolf armor chest itself is exactly the same, but then also one chain. And for the wolf cape, you actually wanna use the workbench right here. So this one will show you the wolf fur cape Six wolf pelts, four silver, so not that much, but also a wolf trophy, which is sometimes pretty rare to get your hands on. What I really like about the white wolf armor is that it also comes with some frost resistance, so that means you no longer need frost resistance potions on the mountains. It is a little bit heavy though, but at the same time, it looks so cool, so definitely worth getting your hands on. 
All right, so guys, that's pretty much everything you need to know about wolf armor, where to find the materials, and how to craft your very own set. I think it's very interesting to also use your spare wolf pelts to make this rug, which increases your comfort level, so you will get a very nice rested bonus. Guys, big thanks for watching. Definitely make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed watching this one. And of course, if you want me to make another guide, just leave in the comments down below what you would like me to cover next. Right now, it is Forium out. Time to work on my next project. I have a lot of great things coming for you guys pretty soon, so if you like Valheim, make sure to subscribe. Very soon, I'm also going to host my very own Valheim server for the community, so more about that on the Discord, so if you want to check it out, it's in the description. Guys, big thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one, take care.